Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sumit Kumar and today we are going to learn about how to send report to client using SES. So what we are going to do basically is we'll get data from Redshift. Once we'll get the data, we'll convert the data into CSV file and that CSV file will send to client and we'll have the client email ID. Okay, we'll send to that. So, so here is the, my scenario. So this is one receipt. Okay, this is receipt database, database house. And here is my table. We'll use, we'll use Python to connect receipt and we'll get data from this table. Once you have data, we'll convert data into data frame. And this data frame will save into CC file. And once we have this data, the CC file will send this to our client. Okay. And to send the mail, we are going to use SES. SES is AWS simple email service. And so the SES will send mail to client. Okay. So let's start. So before moving forward, I already have a video on SNS. So if you want to go through the SNS also or to not notify using SNS, you can go through that. And there are many more other related video on AWS. You can try doing that. It may be helpful for you people also. Okay. So what we have to do now is this is my email address. So I I'm the client and I mail myself send the mail. Okay. So before going to that, let me go to SES service. This is my AWS account. And you have to search for SES. SES is Amazon Simple Email Service. Okay. So you can see this is, uh, you can send the mail from this. Create identity. You have to, you have to verify the email address. Without verifying the email address, you can't send the mail. And uh, they are giving by default 200 mail capacity per region in one day. In 24 hours, you cannot send more than 200 uh, mail. And if you want to increase the limit quota, then that you have, that is also possible. You can have to contact the AWS team and they will increase the, this. So right now I am creating this in North Virginia and I have to verify my email address. So my what is my email address is? This is my email address and I will verify 81470850086 at the rate gmail.com and create identity. So this will send one verification mail to my email address and once we will verify then only we can use SCS service to send the mail. So right now you can see here it is unverified. Now if you go here and uh, search for the mail, so you can see here we got this mail. This is saying that Amazon Web Services. So whenever you want to send mail to someone, so you have to add here. You have to create identity and add here. And the person that you are going to send, they have to verify using clicking this link. If you can see here, this is right now it is unverified. So after clicking on this link, it will be verified. Okay, congratulations, you have successfully verified an email address. Now if you come to SES and then see here, verify status. So we will have this email address verified. Okay, so this is verified. So now we can use this email address. Okay. So now I have to create my Redshift cluster that I already have created, but I kept in this, kept this Redshift cluster in, in pause. I will resume this cluster. It will take some time. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to send this, we are going to use this SES service using Python. So what we need, we need Boto3 module, we have, we will use Boto3 module client as SES. And if you are not going to use Lambda, 
then pure python code then we need programmatical access also so we will go and create one programmatical access user so let me create that meanwhile this is resuming okay we'll go to aws we know how to create user right i am user we'll create one user and we'll assign ses full access permission to that user i will just keep username as demo user or demo ses user i need i just need program to access i don't, don't need this console access so this program to access and here i will just keep some you can i already have some group i can add him in development group or admin group or test so admin development developer group having s3 access so no problem I just i will add this attach existing policy so ses we are going to give him ses okay ss full access we will we'll do next tag it is optional I'll leave him this is fine we'll create user okay so download this or you just just need this access key and secret key so i'll copy paste this access key and secret key i'll keep here in my code this is my code i already have written and uh, prepared written is ready already so that won't take time to write it down again so this is my access key this is my secret key and this user is having access access okay so let's start so now this is my python code so we are using sql alchemy engine to connect to my redshift so this is my redshift configuration okay this is my driver name this is my user this is my password and this is my host name and uh, port name and database is tape so let me see whether it is running fine or not it is available or not still it is modifying and it is saying that restoring so some problem may might happen here so let me it is unable, unable it will take some time might be it is restoring okay now it is available you can see here my data my data warehouse is available and this is the connection detail so we'll create one engine and in this database i already have one table called sales so we just for demo purpose i'm just taking the 10 record and preparing data frame and this data frame will save it as csp and will send to the using scs so that that that's what we are going to you to do so let me run this one and this this things is useful to send the mail multi-part mime okay this access key and secret key i will tell you where to use and let me just connect to the engine and get data this is this code will run and it will create the engine and now we have the query whatever the query you have you write here and get data first and once you have the data frame you can even again you can filter some some, some of the record whatever the manipulation you want you can do that and prepare a final data frame okay that you have to send so for just for understanding purpose i'm just keeping it simple and keep taking just 10 record that we are going to send and uh, query i'll just run this one so it is running here now okay you can see data frame is ready now you can go here and see the data frame and this is my data it is having sales id list id all those things is there okay now we'll come to the 
SES part. So we have already have created access key and secret key that we are going to use. This is my access key. This is my secret key. Now this is my Boto3 client and to access to any services using Python, we need this Boto3 client, Boto3 module from Boto3. We have to create the client as SES and uh, have to give here access key and secret key and you have to also give which reason uh, you have created uh, this user detail user have, you have created in as yes means which region you need to send the mail so let me check this is my ses to go to go back to this ses you can see it is in north virginia region verified identity identity this identity means email address is verified in this region north virginia region so that only you have to give so this north virginia is what us is to one okay that's fine this is us is to one and this is simple this is sending mail function that creates one function so standard sender is my email address only so with the it one four seven five zero eight six at gmail dot com and I'll keep two and six both SM but in your case you can keep the required email address and if you have more than one you can keep as a you can keep comma and uh, you can keep like okay let's suppose that i'm keeping two email address here so you can keep home and give like that this is recipient we have prepared cc and two both become recipient and subject i'm keeping is a test sender to cc i'm just keeping the body one whatever message you want to send so message is please find today's data as attached this is my thanks regard things so everything's fine this is the location of the file that we are going to create okay so this is the function ses so main function is this ses send raw email here you have to give this send raw email the method under ses we are calling this method and uh, we are passing the email body here destination sender and recipient here that's all and this is the body we are preparing like that so this is the function to send the mail okay and we already have data frame here so so we are saving the data frame with this file name test csv df dot file name without index so it will create one csv file with this name okay and then we are just sending this file to this function okay you can see here and uh, you see this is the attachment path and this is the file name we're sending it okay that's all it's very simple so i'm just going to run this one this code okay you can see we got one message saying that uh, error occurred in while parameter value while calling while calling the raw illegal address sender is okay so there is two sender i have defined right so you don't have to keep two sender here sender will should be only one so this is my mistake so you can in the two you can keep whatever email id you want and i need two three email IDs. you can keep but sender should be only one right that's what uh, that's what that was the problem so let me run it again. Okay, now you can see email has been sent. Now we'll see email address here. See? Just like this. Hi all, please find today's data and this is my data 
so that's all for this video if you have any question any problem please uh, comment it down and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you very much